Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your what's cracking for Thursday the 15th of August. Um, first off, just a quick reminder, um, I have been looking at my calendar for dates, so I'll come up with some dates for some Facebook and I want to do a YouTube live as well. Um, 25th of August I'm at Bathurst, 31st I'm at Captain's Flat and then going into September, the 8th of September at Marconi Club um, in Bosley Park and Cootamundra on the 14th and 15th of September. So those are my dates. I want to say a big thank you to everybody, that was the Queen of Swords for those who are curious. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody for subscribing to my channel. Um, I st oh, goodness gracious, that was a flyer. I still would like to do a lot more things and I will get around to them. We do have the Four of Swords here and the Queen of Swords coming out. So it looks like some of you are going to have a conversation that's probably going to uh, make you feel like you need a bit of a rest after it. So take heed. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get on with it. What's cracking? Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles coming straight up. So the Seven of Pentacles talks of, we see this man who's planted all this, waiting for it to grow. So for some of you, it can be waiting on money to come in. Um, but this is about manifestation. It's also about wondering why it's not moving quick enough. So it's a card of patience and, and having to wait for something to come to fruition. Okay, oh boy. <laughs> So this is about putting something down. So you're waiting for something to come in so you can put down some sort of burden here. That's interesting. So that you can have stability and work on something. Oh, and a transformation. Okay, so some of you are waiting to come to the end of some sort of cycle. Um, you could be waiting for something like a divorce to come through. Um, for some of you here, this is an emotional state, waiting for the end of something to be able to move forward, to move on to the next place in your life. Um, this can be waiting for a job. Maybe you've already given notice at your job. You're waiting for a brand new job to come in here. Maybe you're moving from work into self-employment here. But whatever is happening here, you're sort of waiting for that transformation. And it's like it's taking forever. Whatever this is for you, a divorce, relationship, it just seems like it's taking forever and you're just waiting. You're doing the best thing you can with what you know how. I'm using the Radiant White Tarot here. Um, we have the Five of Wands coming up first. So sometimes this can mean conflict, which gives rise to the fact that some people may be waiting to separate from someone, waiting to leave a job. Um, this can be internal conflict as well as external conflict. But whatever it is, people aren't seeing eye to eye or you're, you're perhaps questioning your own motives here. You know, the, should I stay? Should I go? What do I do here? That type of thing. Oh, boy. Tough read. So you feel like you're in a bind at the moment. It feels like no matter which way you go here, you're stuck. Okay, Six of Pentacles coming in. Now it's looking a little bit better. You're waiting for the time when things start to go backwards and forwards and you're getting back what you're investing here. So you may have been in a situation here where you've been investing a lot of your time and energy and going nowhere with that. It may have created a lot of conflict for you. And I feel like you're feeling very bound to this situation. You're waiting for some sort of change to come into you here. And it looks like it is on its way here with this Knight of Cups. Could be an offer from a water sign here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But there's a very strong feeling here that this is about you learning how to love and care for yourself. And that was sort of evident up the front with that mini read around wanting to move forward, but perhaps not being kind to yourself at the moment. So it could be that you're feeling very impatient, very cranky about not being able to move forward quick enough. Um, but it is happening, so... All right, King of Swords coming out here. So this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What I want to say to you, I think some of you are working or waiting on a legal outcome here. I think you're waiting on money to come back to you. Um, it could be that you're frustrated that you can't move forward because you don't have the financial capability or you're tied up financially. But there is this feeling here you want to move forward, 
and make someone an offer, but maybe you're not feeling financially stable. Wow, we have some tough cards coming out. I do want to say, though, it is the end of the cycle here. Now, we just need the Nine of one, uh, Swords to go with this, and we'll have a, a pretty few. All right, so this is about walking away here. So you're definitely walking away from something. That's what we want to see. Brand new start here. Forging forward. This is what you're waiting for here. Some sort of offer here of passion. All right, we do have the Nine of Wands at the end. I said Nine of Wands and meant Nine of Swords, so that's quite interesting. Um, this is about putting boundaries up here. Okay, there's a few different stories coming through here, people. So just be patient with me while I try and receive the messages. Um, some of you are waiting to move forward with a cancer person, but there's something holding you back here. And it's some sort of transformation you need to go through because you need to close out a cycle here. Um, for others of you here, this can be a legal situation, it can be a work situation, but at the moment it's got you very, very much tied up. I feel there's a lot of people here who who are having trouble moving forward because of finances and something here you're waiting on, you are feeling like it will free you up enough financially that you can take a, a step forward. For some of you, you are walking towards a um, an air sign. For others, if you're, you're walking away from a situation that involved an air sign. Um, but what I want to say is regardless of all those situations you're going through, whether that there's a lot of conflict in this situation, um, whatever you're moving away from, whether it's a job, a situation, a relationship, whatever it is for you, um, there is relief coming up. It's a matter of just sort of being patient and going through the motions because you are walking away from something that does not emotionally serve you and walking towards this beautiful Ace of Swords here, which says to me you're walking towards your truth. You're walking towards what you deserve, what you know is in your life to come. And there is this feeling here of being able to, with this nine of wands, being able to lift these boundaries that have kept you restricted for such a long time. So it has a very different feeling, this nine of wands in this reading. It's almost like you're, you're moving away these things that have held you back. Um, and you're able to yeah, lift restrictions, remove restrictions and move forward here. Moving forward with passion, really understanding how to like let go of now of what's held you back for so long. And as I said, for some of you, it could be something very tangible, like, you know, a court case or a divorce. Or And for others of you, there's a restriction here that I feel is coming as a result of some sort of mental release or some sort of letting go of anguish and fear. Um because you're definitely closing out a cycle in order to move forward and it definitely is going to bring you more emotional fulfilment. I'll pull an oracle card for that. Oh, the gatherer. I don't know if I've read that one before, so this will be interesting. Isn't it beautiful? They're such beautiful cards. I like it too because the authors put them in alphabetical order, which is always great for me. Okay, look at the resources you already have close at hand. This is a time of abundance. Everything around you is ripe and ready for harvest. Banish the notions of scarcity that have limited your choices and coloured your destiny. I think this is why this is the limiting your choices here with this Nine of Wands. Um, pack your food for the winter and start with the low-hanging fruit that is all around you. See, this is sort of like make the best of what you've got at the moment. You know, you've got abundance coming in. So just be patient and just do what you can with what you have on hand. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day.